Hey, this is Eric with Ticket Spice, and in this demo, I'm going to walk you through how the reserve seating platform works on Ticket Spice. Reserve seating is a way in which your attendees can choose a very specific section, row, and seat and have that assigned seat for their event. And the first step is you need to create a venue and a seating chart for a venue. So I will show you end to end how to create a basic seating chart for a venue. And uh, just know that this is just gonna be a brief overview. I do have an advanced tutorial where I walk through pixel by pixel on setting up a very advanced venue. So be sure to check that out. So uh, this is the page builder here. And when you jump in here, make sure when you create a new page, you choose the reserve seating type. And so that will expect a venue to be used here. And so you'll have two options, one to use a previous venue. So as you build seating charts, you can reuse them, you can clone them, you can modify them for individual events and use them over and over again with different pricing. But for this example, I'm gonna show you how to create a new venue. So we will call this Eric Arena. I'll go next. And so the first thing it's gonna ask me to do is to add an element. And in here we've got seated sections, we've got shapes, we've got a general mission area, we've got tables and pods. And so tables and pods, these are, are pretty unique, so be sure to check more information about those, how they work. A pod would allow people to buy set groups and buy the entire pod. Tables, individuals can buy a seat at the table. So I'll give you an example uh, of each one of these. So let's go first to polygon shape, and we're gonna add a stage because every venue needs a stage, and that is going to be required field in your layout. And so that'll also use a focal point if you're doing a selling order. Next, I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to choose a seated section and I'll call it section one. And in here, you choose how many rows are in the section and how many seats are in each row. We set the longest because what you wanna do is create a bigger one and then trim down the rows that don't need that many seats. Um, so we'll do five and 10 and that looks good there. And if you decide, man, I need more rows, for example, here, you can add more here and also more uh, seats there. And so this is gonna first allow us to bring this section in here. And let's say that maybe the section trims this way. Maybe the first few sections don't have uh, all 14 seats. What you can do is you can start to delete seats. So I'm gonna hit the pencil here, and then I'm gonna click, I'm gonna hold shift, and I can uh, remove a whole entire block of seats here. So just like that, I can remove them. If you ever need to add more back, you can start just to add them this way. And so it'll renumber them. So kind of a cool little deal. So if I want this to be kind of angled this way, I'm gonna delete a couple more. Again, holding shift, you can delete all those there and we can do that. Uh, if you want to override any given seat, um, let's say that you needed to modify a, a particular seat name, or number, you can modify them there, as well as the row numbers. So you can click uh, onto these rows, and what you can do is change this one here uh, for the row name as well. Also, what's nice about this row, when you select that entire row, is you can also move these back and forth to create the right shapes as well. So super handy uh, for that. So I'll save that. Uh, a couple of the controls here. One, again, of course, the naming, you can change the um, the order, so right now it's A to Z, I can swap it and it can go K through A, really handy there. And same thing with the numbering, maybe I wanna change the uh, order and so you can change it to go one through uh, 20 and, and so forth and back the other way. So very helpful there and you can also change what letter or number each one of these starts with, so super helpful. Next below here, we also have some spacing options, so if you want to have a layout that has tighter rows, you can move that slider and same thing with the seats. So all this is helping you get the right shape of the section. And then the curve, skew, and rotation, these are all ways to manipulate the shape as well. So maybe your venue has kind of a, a curvature there or might skew this way. Um, you can rotate it. So these are all really helpful controls to begin to build the shape of your section and the seats. And then you also have control over where the labels appear. So in that, I don't want the letters going that way. I just want them over here or I can hide them all together. So we'll add that there. Now maybe this exact same section is mimicked on the other side. So I can clone this and move this here. 
and let's flip it. So check that out. Now I have my other section here and this is uh, saving me a ton of time. We'll call this section two. And there we go. And as you can see, once I clone it and flip it, I might need to make some modifications over here as well. So you just hit the pencil and we will change the labels over to the right and we'll hit okay. So that is how you can set up these different sections. And again, I have a different demo where I go fully into a very complicated layout. Uh, and let me just give you a teaser of what that looks like. So again, you can do some incredible things with our platform. So I do this venue on a separate demo and I show you pixel by pixel how to do it. Let me show you some of these other things on here. We're gonna hit another section and we'll do general mission area. And this is going to allow you to have a capacity for an area here. We'll call it general admission. And maybe it's your overflow and your overflow is set for 250 people. And we can pull this and go in the back here and the general mission area is there. So you can have that and that might be standing room only. Uh, you could also have tables. You can choose you know, table one or two, how many seats at, at each table. We'll choose six and you can clone that. We'll call this table two. There you go. And last, I'll also add a pod. And a pod is going to give you a couple controls here. I'll just say pod one, and we'll say there's eight there. And so that pod is over there. And so pods are unique in where someone who buys a pod buys the entire one. So think of it as like a booth or a suite. Um, so that's how a pod can be used. Uh, and then tables, people can buy individual seats at the table. So that is the layout builder there. Again, so many controls, including neat things like seat view images. So if you want to upload an image uh, for the perspective from that spot, that's there as well. But just some incredible things there. So as you go, make sure you save and you can always come back and make more changes later as you go. So that's the basics of creating the venue. Let me walk you through a couple things here, which are price tiers. And price tiers are going to be able to classify each section. And then on your ticketing page, you will assign a price to each one of those tiers. So let's add a first price tier here and we'll call it premium. And let's say the premium is going to be uh, the first five or six rows of these sections. Now check this out. So you can just hold the shift and click. And so those are now selected and I just choose premium. Super handy. So I'll do that again, hold, and there we go. I will uh, click off, let's add another tier. Oops, let's go back to there. And uh, let's add another tier and let's call this standard. And one of the ways that you can assign price tiers in here as well is to kind of paint. So I'm just going to click and hold my mouse and I'm going to just kind of paint over all of these. And so that's another way in which you can assign these price tiers. But if they're broad like this, I love the click, shift and select. So I will add those over here. There we go. And then let's talk about these other sections. So let's go to the general mission and we'll call this GA and that's good. And maybe for our tables here, we'll call these ones tables. So we're gonna select all of those to table and those on a table as well. So now every single thing my venue has a price tier and then we can go and assign a price to those individual tiers. If you've got maybe obstructions somewhere in the venue or you've got maybe an ADA seat, you can click any one of these seats. And let's go over here. We'll click this seat and you see we can classify this as accessible uh, and save. We'll make this other one also accessible. And then maybe there's like a big pull right here. So you can, uh, over here, you can choose a few of these seats. Let's go to these and then we'll say obstructed. And so now those are denoted as being obstructed. So great controls there. You can hit save. 
and then you can hit preview and you can hover over and confirm all of your individual seats and that is a great little preview. Selling order allows the system for the best available to choose which are the best seats. And so this color gradient denotes that. You also can do a manual assignment on the selling order as well, but it is not for the faint of hearts. So I would recommend the auto. When that is all great, we're gonna hit save, and then we can close this. And now back to our ticketing page, you see over here we have our price tiers. And so now we can assign price tiers. So maybe it is $50 for the premium. We'll add a fee of 6%. That all goes to you. The price for standard tickets is 35. For table is 10 and GA is five. And again, you can add fees in here if you like. I'll just add them real quick. Super simple. And then if you want to have different price points for the seats. Maybe you want to have a student or senior. You can add additional price points down here. You can call it senior and you can have some specific requirements for that. Maybe it's military, you have to show ID. And so you can toggle on those when um, you want those present for those seat levels as well. So we'll delete that for now. And that looks good. All right, done, save. Now let's publish. Let's put it to a dummy gateway here and I'll show you what this looks like. We've got our published page, got our concert, check this out, looks beautiful. So you can go into these sections here and you can buy a seat and check out. And you can view your order, you can see the legend, you can zoom out, you can move around, it's really, really nice. Now you might notice these things called seat codes up here. Now seat codes, let me talk about them are things called holds. So holds are the ability to hold back certain seats of your venue, either for individuals or even maybe sections for groups. So let me show you that. So we'll hit edit our venue and we are going to allocate a certain number of seats as part of holds. And so under the seat holds option here, we're gonna choose a name here. We'll call it the Smith VIP and we'll give a code Smith VIP here. And then we're going to choose maybe the first four seats here. And then we're going to also set a hold release date, which means that if the Smiths don't get their tickets by then, then these will get released back to the general public. So we'll set that expiration date and then save. And so now the Smith VIP hold is set and I'll show you how to distribute a code or a link to them here in a moment. Uh, you also can set a section. So let's say we wanna set a section of seats here, and maybe this is for a sponsor, or maybe it's for a youth group, um, and you can say there's a section here allocated to your team, and they can individually pick tickets in that section, but don't have to buy the entire section. So we're gonna add a hold here, and we'll just call this youth group, and we'll just say youth, and a expiration date there. And then I'm gonna do this option here, which is to allow people to purchase individual seats within the hold. So this hold here will set all four of the tickets into the cart, and then this hold will allow people to view that section and to buy individual seats there. So we'll hit back, we'll hit save, success, we'll close this. We'll go back to our ticketing page here. And now we see that the holds have some price options here. So we need to allocate the price for those individual seats. So the Smiths, we're gonna give it to them for zero. And the youth, we're gonna give their seats in their sections for $8. And we'll hit done. Let's we'll save and publish. And so now when I view the venue here, I can see that my four VIP tickets are not available. Uh, that's because they're being withheld for the Smiths to use their code and they can enter their seat code here. And once they enter it, it'll put those four tickets in their cart. Same thing with entering the code to access the general section. But what you can do is you can come back here and copy the link for the Smiths. And so when you share that link, check it out. All four seats are selected and it's in their cart, ready to check out. They can view their order and all of that looks good. We also can do that for the youth group. So we'll copy this link, we'll open this, share that, 
And now we see that our section is now unlocked. And so individual people can get these individual seats. And so they can buy in from that group. And so really nice, they can continue to check out and view their order. So that is how all of that works. So that concludes the reserved seating demo. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, be sure to check out my other demo where I go deeper in the complicated venue setup here. If you want, if you have a really complicated venue and want to see how I did this one, I go uh, step by step through it. And so that is there for you to watch. But hopefully this is helpful. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you on the next video.